Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, I will give you the steps on how to add integers. But before that, tuturuan ko rin kayo ng konsepto mismo. Ano ba talaga ang integers? At ano yung mga numbers or ano yung different numbers na sakop ng integers natin? So again, I'm Teacher Don. Salamat! Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will do adding integers. So basically, I will teach you the steps, the step by step process on how to add integers. And, syempre, before natin puntahan yung pag add ng integers, we will refresh our mind. Ano nga ba ang integers? So, let's get started. So, we have here the definition of integer. So, when we say integer, sabi dito, the set of integers contain all the elements of the set of whole numbers. So, when we say whole numbers, these are the numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and so on. As well as the negatives of all natural numbers starting from negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 5, and so on. So, for us to visualize more, what are integers? Nagamit tayo ng number 9. So, basically, there are three different numbers sa ating integer. So, nagamit tayo ng number 9. So, una natin type ng number under ng integers ay yung center nito, which is yung 0. Again, the, sum, the center of those numbers is 0, and ito yung first type ng integer na meron tayo. So, let's move on to the second type of integer. So, kung meron tayong 0, kaya natin ang word 0, so, dito na pasok yung ating set of all positive numbers. So, saan nga ba rito nakalocate yung positive numbers? So, ang positive numbers natin ay nandito. So, lagyan lang natin ng mga markings. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ito yung ating set of all positive numbers. Kung mapansin nyo, yung direction niya from 0 is from left to right. At, sir, yung atin po bang integers ay limited lang up to 5? No. As you can see, we have here an arrowhead. It indicates na yung ating numbers ay tuloy-tuloy at infinite. Okay? So, these are the positive numbers. So, let's move on to the third type of integer. So, meron naman tayong pangalawang grupo na syempre, kung meron tayong positive numbers sa right side ng 0, automatic meron tayong numbers na nasa left side ng 0, which is yung tinatawag natin negative numbers. So, sulat lang natin dito negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on. Ito ulit yung tinatawag natin negative numbers or integer. So, negative siya. So again, sana makatulong sa inyo yung visualization natin gamit yung number line for you to memorize the position and the different types of integers. So ang susunod natin gagawin dito is let's move on sa mismong topic natin on how to add integers. Okay? So I have here two different cases in adding integers. We have the case 1 and case number 2. So um, what is the importance of memorizing and knowing the process of adding integers? Um, this process ay magamit nyo rin sa next topic natin, which is subtracting integers. So I hope na matutunan nyo yung pinakaproseso natin. So let's move on to case number one. Yung case number one natin is the easier one, yung integers with the same sign. So ano yung ibig sabihin yan? Pag sinabi natin, let's say for example, you are adding two integers. So, dalawang integer, pero same ang sign. Example niyan is yung 5 plus 6. As you can see, yung numbers natin ay walang ibang sign. Kapag ang, sign, ang number ay walang sign, automatic, you need to consider that as positive. So, dito, nag-add ka ng dalawang positive numbers. Yan yung sinasabi natin same sign. And then, another possible example of case number 1 is kapag nag-add ka naman ng parehas negative. Negative 5 plus negative 6. Dito, nag-add ka ng 
dalawang negative numbers. So, meron tayong rules para dyan. So, what is the rule? Number one, take the absolute value of each number. So, kung natin yung absolute value, number two, add the absolute value of the numbers. And the number three, keep the sign. Later on, I will teach you on how to do it. Okay? So, let's move on to case number two. Yung case number two naman natin, meron siyang different signs. Again, yung case number one natin, may parehas sa sign. Yung case number two natin ay magkaibang sign. So, what are the steps? Medyo, ano lang ito, medyo complicated ng konti, pero kaya natin to. Number one, take the absolute value of each number. Number two, subtract the number with a smaller absolute value from the number with a bigger absolute value. Number three, copy the sign of the number with bigger or long or larger absolute value. So, ano yung mga possible things na may encounter nyo? So, pag sinabi natin different signs. Let's say, for example, you have 5 plus negative 6. As you can see, the two, uh, yung 5 natin is positive and the other is negative. Parang ganito lang yan. You're adding positive number plus a negative number. And then another possibility is that you have negative 5 plus 6. So, you're just adding a negative number and a positive number. So, as we move on, I will give you the examples. So, let's move on to example number 1 of case number 1 na yung integer natin ay meron ng pares na sign. Okay? So, here it is. We have 5 plus 6. So, alam natin na napakadali na lang yan, pero gamitin natin yung process natin. Diba sabi doon, get the absolute value. The absolute value of 5 is 5. Right? And then the absolute value of 6 is 6. So, i-add lang natin sila. The answer is 11. And then, yung third step natin, sabi doon, sabi sa third step natin, keep the sign. So, ang gagawin mo rito, kapag gantong case natin, uh, kopyahin mo lang yung sign ng dalawang numbers, which is positive. Diba? So, automatically, the answer is 11. Ganun na kadali. Next, let's move on to item number 2. We have negative 20 plus negative 3. Sabi, get the absolute value of each number. The absolute value of 20 is 20. Plus, the absolute value of 3, of negative 3 is 3. And then after that, you need to add them. Their sum is 23. But that is not the final answer. Remember, our third step is to keep the sign or copy the sign of the original given. So both of them has a negative sign. So ibig sabihin, copy natin sign natin and the answer is negative 23. This is the answer for item number 2. So I hope na natutunan nyo yung case number 1 natin in addition of integers with like signs. Now let's move on to the second case ng ating topic today which is addition of integers na mayroon naman magkaibang sign. So here are the steps. We have to find the absolute value of each number. The absolute value of negative 15 is 15 and then the absolute value of 8 is simply 8. And then according to our step, diba sabi, uh, subtract the smaller number to the larger number. So we have 15 minus 8. So the answer here is 7. And now to decide whether the answer is negative or positive, tignan nyo lang yung number na may mat mataas na absolute value. So that is 15. And then look at the sign of 15. That is negative. So the answer here is negative 7. You need to copy the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. So let's move on to item number 2. We have 23 plus negative 12. So get the absolute value of 23. We have here 23. And then the absolute value of negative 12 is, neg is 12, rather. 12. Now, sabi on, subtract the number, the smaller number, from the larger number. You have 23 minus 12. And then 
When you subtract this, ang sagot natin dito is none other than 11. Now, paano mo yung malaman ano yung sign ng 11? Go back to the sign or to the number na mayroong mas mataas na absolute value and that is 23. As you can see, yung 23 natin has a positive sign. Therefore, yung 11 natin is positive or 11 lang. This is the answer for item number 2. So that is ano, how you add integers with different sign. Again, review lang muna natin. First, you need to get the absolute value of the number. And then, subtract the, the smaller number from the larger number. Tapos, para malaman mo yung final sign ng iyong sum, puntahan mo yung number na may mas mataas na absolute value and copy the sign of it. And that's it. Okay? So, I have here four examples or four item activity na kung saan pwede natin may practice yung inyong natutunan from case number one and case number two of adding integers. So, pwede nyo i-pause muna yung ating video para kayo mismo yung gumawa. And then, I will give you five minutes para magawa ito. And then after that, sasagutan natin siya. Okay? Post nyo muna. Okay. So, continue na natin. If you have here, same sign, number 1 tayo, you have 12 plus 6. Ang absolute value ng 12, going back, is 12, and then 6. Tapos, add natin sila. 12 plus 6, it will give you 18. And then look at the sign of those numbers. Para silang positive. Therefore, her answer is positive. Now let's move on to item number 2. You have negative 12 plus negative 6. Kunin mo lang yung absolute value. Ang ginagawa natin step by step process eh. This is 6. Then add the two numbers that will give you 12. Ah, sorry. That is not 12. That will give you 18. And then, so at may 18 dito, Puntahan mo ngayon yung sign ng dalawang numbers. Both of them has a negative sign. So ito ngayon ay magiging negative 18. This is the final answer for number 2. Ganun ang posible. Now, let's move on to item number 3. Following the steps, get the absolute value which is 12. And this one is 6. Sabi doon, subtract a smaller number from the larger number that is 12 minus 6. It will give you 6. Now, yung 6 natin, lagay natin dyan, and then puntahan mo ngayon yung number with the larger absolute value, and that is 12. So, copy him yung sign ng 12, which is negative. Yan. The answer is negative 6. Okay? So, for number 4, let's be quick. We have the absolute value of 12, which is 12. And then the absolute value of 6, neg negative 6 is 6. And then subtract the smaller number, we have 12 minus 6, it will give you 6. And para sa final answer natin, puntahan mo ngayon yung number with the larger absolute value. And that is 12. So copying the sign, which is positive. So yung sagot natin dito is positive 6 or 6. So that's it for our topic, adding integers. I hope na natutunan nyo or nakatulong yung video natin na ma-master nyo or ma-familiarize mo nyo yung steps on how to add integers with same signs and different signs. At kung, may, kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, don't forget to like this video and subscribe ka na rin para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Salamat!